Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a short video on how to map a sketch to a face. Uh, this is not, this is a non-obvious task, um, but I'm going to try to shed some light on it. This isn't a tutorial per se, I'm just going to be walking through how to do this and um, I hope you can pick up some, some techniques and, and skills. So I have a bunch of uh, shapes. These were created in part, to, in part, so they're not in the part design. So what you'll notice is they won't be part of this body. Um, I don't know, I don't yet know the ramifications of that. <clears throat> I hope to learn. Um, one of the things about <clears throat> creating, excuse me, one of the things about creating a sketch and um, whether it's mapped to a face or not is whether you have a face selected when you create the sketch. So if I don't have a face selected, you'll see the uh, FreeCAD asks you where you want to attach that to. So in this case, we're going to attach it to the, the XY base plane, and you'll see that selected by the, the blue uh, plane frame. I don't know if that's the correct phrase, but we'll call it that anyway, uh, being changed to black. So when you, when you select a sketch there, you're going to see it's going to be, uh, it's going to orient to that frame or that uh, plane. And let's just, I'm going to just stick something in there to let you see where it is. That looks fun. Okay, and now close that so it reorients. So you can also see how how FreeCAD centers some of the stuff. Um, so now if I want to attach a sketch to this face, let's say, I just select it and press the skip, create a new sketch. Now it's saying make an independent copy because a sketch has to be part, if you read this, of an active body and you can see this cube is not so we're going to do let's actually let's try two things first i want to toggle this now select this i think it's still going to ask me though yeah oh nope i toggled it off <laughs> um so it wants to add the sketch to the body now even though make an independent copy is recommended it always crashes my copy uh i don't know if that's a problem with mine or a problem with FreeCAD or what. So I found that create a cross reference works for me. So just try each of the three and see which one actually works. Um, it may not be the best solution, but it's the one that works for me. So I have to use it. And that's a problem, you know, that's a, a function of using the development version. So now you'll see FreeCAD has oriented to this cube and it didn't ask you uh, select a feature over here and oriented this cube and put the sketch at um, the, the the zero zero of this plane or the origin of this plane. So let's let's add a a, a sketch to this. Okay, and I'm not going to attach it anyway. But we're just adding this so we can visual, continue to visualize it. Let me close that, and so you see that our sketch is there. Now let's um let's add a second sketch to this, and we make create a cross reference again, and um. I'm just going to put a square here. And let's say you've realized you've made a mistake and you don't want this here, you want it over here. So to move this sketch from the surfaces, first I need to, to remove the attachment that exists. And in part design, we have a, a function for that. And that's reorient sketch. So I'm going to click reorient sketch. So it's asking me at this point, where do I want to put the, the sketch? and so this is going to be a two-step process. First, we're going to put it down onto the XY plane. So I'm just going to click OK there. And you'll see it's been reoriented to the XY plane with the same distance from the 0, 0 as, as was expressed on this plane from the origin. So now I want to add it to, add it to this uh, plane. So we're going to select that plane. And then we're going to, so once we have that Plane selected we're going to use the map a sketch to a face again that's available in the part design menu map sketch to a face and it's also available as this icon so I can click this icon and it's going to ask you what sketch and it's going to ask you what attachment mode and we're just going to use flat face okay now at first it looks like it didn't do anything but it actually did but by this check mark, you can see that there's uh, computing necessary still. So one way I figured to force computing 
um, is to is to click on the set tip and that I guess that runs the calculations I'm not really sure I have to find out what set tip, set tip stands for so it looks at first it looks like hey it didn't work uh, it only kind of worked but you see it's on the same plane and on the cube the origin is here and I drew the the square right about here on the cylinder the origin is here and so it's about the same distance and you'll see that by when we select the sketch that it's 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 in fact about the same distance it was on a cube as it is on the cone so let's close that so you could see we could easily map move that also to uh, the cylinder and we can move it or so now the sphere is a different question uh, how do you map a sketch to a sphere um, I don't know of a command that will wrap it per se around this the sphere but you can actually attach it uh, attach it to it is you just need a some kind of point you know um, so I'm just gonna click that point right there and what I'm gonna do is and this is something I've just been fiddling with so it's I'm not sure how great it is so I'm gonna create a datum plane and you'll notice that datum plane is right on that point of the sphere so now I'm just gonna click OK we're gonna create a cross-reference so the datum plane is as part of the body even though the part is not so now um, let's reorient this now you may be able to skip this step I'm not sure I haven't walked that through uh, it'd be nice to know and I'll probably walk it through at the end so if you don't want to know you can just end the video so now I'm gonna map this sketch to this datum plane so to map the sketch to the datum plane, I'm going to select the datum, datum plane and I'm going to do map a sketch to a face. Now that the language sounds like uh, it won't work with a datum plane, but let's give it a shot. <clears throat> so we're going to pick sketch two and right away you see it says flat face is suggested. And what you also might notice is these items have changed. So it creates a context sensitive set of options. You'll see object X, Y. Okay, but we're going to pick flat face. I'm going to click OK. So you'll see again, nothing has happened yet, but the sketch again is, is saying that it needs to be executed. I think that that's what that stands for. I'm going to set tip. And there, there it is in our datum plane. So, so finally, I think I want to show moving a sketch from one datum plane to another. So I'm going to select this face to attach a datum plane to. So you see it's created the new one. And I'm going to select OK. I'm going to create a cross-reference, and um, and I think this is a little a bug, but you see that's a selected datum plane. Now see when I click here, it's not selected. If I click here, which you would think might select that, still selects the bottom one. If I click here, so I can't really select this top data plane except in. Oh, well, I <laughs> maybe it's because there's nothing in it. Uh, I don't know. Let's try to add a sketch and then see if we can select it. We'll learn together. That's, I don't know which one that's putting it on. Let's go out in the, well, let's try it. So it's a selected even though it's not highlighted. Let's see where it ends up. Yeah, okay. So even though it didn't highlight it, because it, it does, you, see, you can see how it highlights it there, but not there. Um, I have had it highlight that top, so maybe it will as we're doing it, but let's, uh, let's add another sketch over something solid. Maybe it, maybe it thinks it's not real because it's not connected to another object. Let's try that real quick. Oh, and I've, I've gotten this a couple times where it, where after you sketch it, it makes the sketch unselectable. I, I think that's a bug. Um, it certainly could be, you know, that I've done something that that makes it unselectable. So I, I can't, couldn't tell you which it is because I can still add new ones. Maybe it's an invalid object. Not. I'm really not sure. So let's see if we can select the datum plane now. Nope, still can't. Okay. And if you go back into the sketch, it still doesn't. But if you close FreeCAD and reopen it, then the sketch became editable for me at least. Um, but that but let's try to uh, now let's try to move this this square up to the up a datum plane so first we're gonna do part design we're gonna reorient sketch now I, th I think you can also do this or I know you can 
you can just uh, you can just detach it from support but I don't know if that's separate or you know use the map mode I don't know if that takes it um, takes its connection to what it was sketched on first as much as in the same way that reorient sketch does I'm, I just don't know so you see that sketch has kind of disappeared from existence uh, I don't know why it, why it doesn't show so now I'm going to select that top datum plane so keep in mind that is selected even though it's not showing and we can use the same map of sketch to a face even though it's a datum plane and we select the sketch that we want to map is two and when it says flat face current that says um that you're okay to go basically if if this comes up differently it'll say un incompatible and it's showing that you've made a selection that it's not going to just not work now it looks like it didn't work but again it needs to be executed so we'll do this use the set tip to execute and there it is it's moved it to our new datum plane so that's that's about all i'm going to do um uh, you know i think i've shown you how to move sketches around and there's variations of that like i think you can just um if i select a data let's try one more thing actually so with this datum plane selected i'm going to try to move it directly from the one to the other without using the reorient step and let's see if that it allows us to do that so i have the bottom datum plane selected i'm going to do reorient sketch we're going to pick sketch two click ok it looks like it's going to work and click yes again it looks like it hasn't yet but it's not executed so we'll do set tip and there yeah so you don't have to use that reorient step let's try that with a face so let's hide these datum planes and we're going to select this face and we're going to select um we'll do this sketch so let's do uh so we're going to map we'll do the map and oops i need to know which sketch it is it's that one okay so sketch one map select sketch one okay flat face so yeah that looks like it worked set tip yeah so it's offset because because uh the center of the cube is here and the center of the cone is there so you don't even need to do the reorient which is good to know you don't need that step so that's it uh sorry this was a little bit rambling i just kind of wanted to demo the different uh different sketch mapping and reorienting and and whatnot um it's good to get used to that it, it's uh it's helpful so uh subscribe if you like this stuff um, this is a bit of learning together. I, 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 I purposefully am doing videos when I'm not an expert uh, so that I cover the things that are frustrating to new users. Uh, so if you like that, you know, definitely click like and, um, and subscribe. And if you're a pro, this might not be the place for you. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Have